like tech and stuff then do check out our new channel Technomera. Link on the screen and description box below. So at first take a screenshot from a particular area from your video. I recommend using VLC to do that. Also I have provided some files to help you with the tutorial. Link to download them is in the description box below. Ok now it's time to remove the background from the image. I recently made a video on how to remove background from image using PixArt. You can use that method to remove the image because it is quite easy and fast. Or you can always use Photoshop and other methods. But I recommend using my video because it is quite easy and fast. So basically we need an image with a background removed. Ok so once you have all the files, import them into Filmora. Now we have an image with no background, the screenshot that we have just took from the original video and the original video. Ok now, at first go to the sample colors and choose the green gradient and put it into the timeline. And now increase the gradient duration to up to 15 seconds. Now take the image with the background removed and put it above the green gradient. Now double click on the image and then in the transform section, scale it down a bit. This much will be fine for me. Ok now, export this into a video with at least 60 fps and the best quality possible. Once it is done, simply import the exported clip right back into Filmora. Here we have it. Ok now, put the main video into the timeline. And then, go to the position from where you took the screenshot. I believe mine was from here. So let's put the screenshot above it to check. Click on the screenshot and then into the compositing, lower down the opacity to see if the screenshot is mixing with the video or not. For me, apparently it is at perfect place. Ok, so once you think that your screenshot is at the perfect place, then put the image with no background above the screenshot. And then delete the screenshot. And then put the green screen video in its place. And then delete the removed background image. Ok now. At the point where the green screen video starts, split the main clip and then drag the rest portion forward. And now put the screenshot at this blank space. Ok now double click on the green screen video and then click on the chroma key. This will remove the green screen background and now adjust the intensity and tolerance. Now it's time to give a video that sticker effect. Go to the effects tab into the utility section and then take this border and put it on the green screen video. This will add a white border around it. But it kinda look ugly right now so to smooth it out, click on the video and then scroll down to the video effects and here make the size ratio to 1. And then again go to the chroma key and tweak these settings out to smooth it out. Now let's decrease the opacity a bit and increase the size using scaling. Now adjust the position of the sticker video with the screenshot so that they look like a single image. And once it is done, trim out the video to the screenshot duration. Now right click on the sticker video and go to its crop and zoom. Here crop it down from the top portion like this. Once it is done click ok. Now go to the end portion of the sticker somewhere like this and split it at this position. Ok now right click on the first portion and then go to its crop and zoom then into the pan and zoom. Click on the inner pan and stretch it out to the full screen and then click on this reverse icon here. This will make the zoom comes inward. Then click OK. Now do the same crop and zoom with the second portion too. But this time, don't click on the reverse icon. So if I play it now, we are getting a slight zoom effect. That is exactly what we want. Ok now comes the final part. Drag the sticker video one track above and now it's time to beautify the background. Go to the effects tab and now in the filters section, choose any of the effect that you want and apply it on the sticker video. 
Now at this part you can add whatever effects you want by taking it and putting in directly on the timeline and adjusting its settings. Doing this method you can use Filmora's inbuilt filters to create a unique and magnificent background effect for you. Or you can always use the backgrounds and the files that I've provided. And now comes the final final part. Once the background is done, let's use this ink splatter image from the files that I provided before and put the ink splatter image below the sticker video. And now adjust its height, length, width, angle according to your sticker, whatever the way you want to. And once it is done, it is time to add the final 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 super final text. But before adding the text, Let's drag the sticker video again one track above. Now simply go to the Titles tab into the Titles section and choose this default title and put it below the sticker video. Now edit the text according to your liking and adjust the font and size and everything that you want. And once all that is done, let's see what we have just created. It looks pretty amazing. Now we can apply this method on other characters to make the character intro. And the best part about this effect is that you can randomize your background and you can do a lot of things. You aren't stuck with a single background, you can randomize it. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you think that this video is worthwhile, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos just like this for you. Till then, see you later.